All around the world, cleaning has meaning. It means hygiene, self-worth and dignity. Some people, including myself, even find a sense of zen in cleaning. But can we find a way to clean the world by cleaning our homes? The global cleaning industry has twice the water consumption of the EU, which is pollutes with non-biodegradable chemicals and emits as much carbon as my country, the Netherlands. Cleaning products are largely made from fossil fuels, sold in plastic bottles and leave persistent ingredients in nature. This might sound like a crazy idea, but what if we could clean up some of the world's carbon, plastic and water pollution whilst cleaning our homes? Unilever has committed to net zero by 2039, a decade earlier than the Paris Agreement. To meet this ambitious target, we must address a hidden culprit in our products. Fossil-derived chemicals. Most of this fossil carbon chemicals will find its way into the atmosphere. So, the more we extract from under the ground, the more we're adding to the problem above the ground. Our challenge is not to stop using carbon. How could we? It's instead to use the right sources of carbon, sources that don't add more CO2 to the atmosphere. Using different sources of carbon for our products? You are probably thinking, can this be done? Or is this science fiction? The answer is, it can. You could call it a carbon revolution. We call it the carbon rainbow. Now let me explain. This black carbon is what industries, including ours, are addicted to. Coal, oil and gas, which are pumped from under the ground. To make our cleaning products, we have decided to progressively turn off that tap and are replacing black carbon with this. This is the carbon rainbow, which shows the variety of carbon sources from above the ground. To produce purple carbon, we are capturing carbon emissions from industrial processes and transforming them into cleaning ingredients, like soda ash, for our washing powders. To create blue carbon, we are exploring oceans to find more sustainable solutions, like enzymes that clean in cold water. To make green carbon, we are using the power of nature, paired with science, to create completely new biosurfactants. And to unlock the potential of grey carbon, we are breaking down non-recyclable plastic waste and using the carbon to create biodegradable ingredients. Now, at the end of the rainbow, there is our own pot of gold, created by renewable and recyclable carbon. We take these new ingredients and reformulate our products, aiming to keep the cost affordable to consumers and with the same, if not better, cleaning performance. They are used and thrown away. And look what happens here. We chemically recycle plastic waste and it goes into the cycle as biodegradable grey carbon, helping to solve some of the plastic problem. And the purple, blue and green carbon biodegrade and return to the cycle too. No black carbon and yet great cleaning. The carbon rainbow is all about keeping and using the carbon in the loop. It's better for the planet. It's equally good for the business. Consumers love it and these technologies give us long lasting competitive edge. For the first time since industrial revolution, we have the opportunity to choose which type of carbon we use by simply tapping into the complete geocarbon system of the planet. Do you still think this is science fiction? Let us explain how it is happening already. Two of our key cleaning ingredients are surfactants and soda ash. 
They play an important role in cleaning products to make them foam, remove dirt and perform at the highest level. But they are made using a lot of black carbon. Inspired by nature, we are working with biotechnology companies such as Evonik to create new generations of surfactant called ramnolipids. Super effective, biodegradable, renewable and has reduced the carbon footprint of our formula by a massive 28%. And in partnership with Chuticarin Alkali Chemicals and Fertilizers and Carbon Clean, we are capturing carbon emissions and turning it into soda ash. It's almost magic. But who really cares how renewable our carbon is if we damage the environment in the process? As we move forward, replacing fossil carbon with the carbon rainbow must be done responsibly. In our transition away from virgin fossil carbon, we are committed to protecting nature. Ending deforestation will always take precedence. We will develop new tools, innovations, techniques, and programs on the ground that help us deliver impacts at the level of field, of farm, and landscape. And we will do this in a way that is inclusive of communities and that empowers farmers and smallholders. Fossil carbon in chemicals must no longer be the hidden culprit of climate change. We need to tackle the issue head on if we are going to reach our net zero objective. If cities like New York and Copenhagen are already being built with reused carbon concrete, then it is about time that all consumer goods, from electronics to clothing to cleaning products, embrace it too. The beauty of the rainbow is that it is leveraging existing industrial infrastructure and the billions of investments in the system we already have. But to create this future, we need to collaborate across sectors. We need to do it together. We collectively need a roadmap out of petrochemicals once and for all. The question is, Will you be part of the movement? <laughs>